Unbelievable. My hometown and I can't even get my favorite radio station. How am I supposed to listen to the Yankees in the playoffs if I can't get the fan? I'm going to have to do something about this. ASAP. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today I am very excited because I just received my new head unit in the mail. It's going to replace this old factory CD player radio tape deck. <laughs> I haven't used the CD in a very long time. I haven't even seen a cassette tape in a couple decades. So although I fixed this, fixed all the bulbs, got this restored and working correctly, it has to be replaced. Uh, it's playoff season. I want to listen to the Yankees. So I got something that is Bluetooth capable, uh, Sirius XM capable, and uh, we are going to wire in something that has a little more technology. So uh, in this video, we're going to unbox my new stuff. We're going to bench test everything. We're going to make sure it all works. And then we're going to prepare a wire harness for it. And then uh, hopefully we'll get this in very, very soon. So let's go to the bench and we'll unbox my new stuff. All right. All right, guys, before I get into this unboxing, I just want you to know that this head unit is pretty old. It's a Pioneer DEH 9800 BT, and the year of manufacture was 2006, but it was the top of the line Pioneer head unit. Um, actually, it's my favorite head unit. It's in Black Beauty, and it really performed amazing. It's got a whole bunch of outputs, subwoofer, it's got tuners, um, it's got Bluetooth, it's got inputs, so it's got everything you could want. Uh, it still holds up to the modern time, but unfortunately, I can't leave a link uh, for this in the description below. You just can't find them anymore. Um, how I got this one was I set my search for uh, eBay, and I got an alert, and one was available, and this specific one had everything. It was practically new in the box. I think it was only installed once. Um, what is even better is the seller included the Sirius Satellite Tuner with it. So I'm going to hook this up also, and uh, I called Sirius just to make sure this would even work anymore, and it would. So we're going to hook this up, and I got another thing too. In here, this is steering wheel control adapters for Pioneer head units. So we'll be able to wire up this and this and everything's going to function excellent in the ZJ. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this stuff a little closer. So the first thing I want to look at is this Sirius XM tuner. Um, right off the bat, it's in the original box, so that's a good sign, right? Can't beat that. All right. Well, it's definitely used because it's open. You can't list something as new if it's been opened. But here we go. We got the owner's manual. So far, so good. <laughs> Look, we got the adhesives pad. Look, this is this is unused. That's great. We got the IP bus cord. Look at that. This looks like it's not used. Everything. <laughs> This is actually brand new. I wonder if this guy couldn't install it himself, so he just left it. Look at this. That's amazing. And this is the PNR2, Sirius Pioneer 2. Um, this was for the 2006 uh, 9800 BTs. And the antenna. This is exciting stuff, guys. There we go. I'll set this aside. All right, next thing we'll take a look at is the head unit itself. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Hey, all right, nothing else in the box. We got the remote. No fingerprints, no coffee stains. <laughs> so this is good. That's great. There we go. We have uh, instruction manual. Got the head unit. Yeah, you can see it was definitely installed already. Um, look at that. It's even got the wire harness to whatever vehicle it was in. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And more harnesses and installation stuff. Oh, look. Microphone, too. And here we go. Wow. What a nice faceplate. The volume knob isn't even worn off. Man, this is sweet. What a score. All right, set everything aside. 
And the third thing we're going to check out is uh, it's a PAC SWIRC, and this is a steering wheel control interface, uh, and it's going to work with uh, where's Pioneer and a Pioneer. So, all right, hoping this is going to work. Let's take off the tape. Quick start guide. Oh, that's a lot of instructions. Huh, that's it. All right, extra fuse, little resistors. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna need that. Hopefully I won't. And a wiring harness. Simple stuff, guys. Let's uh, take a look at what we got so far. Uh, right here is a microphone. Uh, this is for a wired remote. Uh, this is an IP bus input. Uh, this is what we're gonna hook up our XM to. Um, there's an auxiliary input here. Uh, here is your main wiring harness, um, and here we have a subwoofer output and uh, some rear speaker output. Um, I'm not going to use this, so I think I can. Yeah, I'll just remove this harness, keep this in the box, and uh, up here is the antenna plug. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to snip these off, and then uh, we'll hook up my power supply and test out this head unit. All right, this wire harness is removed. If anybody could identify the vehicle that this came from, <laughs> you could have it. So uh, I'll just set this aside for you. Hit me up in the comments. What vehicle do you think this is from? It's certainly not from a mid 90s Jeep. So uh, it's all yours guys. So uh, I went ahead and I stripped off all the remaining wires. Uh, we're gonna test all these speaker wires to make sure the speaker outputs are good for each speaker. Um, I got, uh, let's see, the accessory. This is what switches it on when you switch the ignition on. Uh, I got the power wire, which is the yellow. We're also gonna need the black ground. So yeah, I'm gonna hook this up to the power supply, these three, and then we'll test uh, this with the speaker. So here we go. Gonna open up a beautiful case. Get our nice new 14 year old faceplate on. I'll hold that right up here. Now I'm just going to connect the red to the power. See what happens. <laughs> Fantastic. It goes on. Here we go. It's on demo mode. Sorry, it's upside down going to source this to the tuner. There we go. 87.9. Let's grab my old test speaker. See if we can make some noise out of this thing. So we'll test each speaker. Test the rear. Can you hear that, guys? Turn up the volume. That speaker works. Test the other speaker. Other oh, rear speaker. That one works. Moving on to the front speakers. That works. And the other front speaker. All right, they all work good enough for me. Let's move on to another level of testing. All right, guys, so now we know the Pioneer head unit works. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to hook up the Sirius satellite radio. Uh, first thing we're going to do is let's do the IP bus. So we're going to open up this nice, beautiful new cable, <laughs> completely untouched, which is amazing. Uh, again, what a great score on this Pioneer head unit. So we're going to go take uh, the IP bus. We're going to go out. Which way does it go? This way. We're going to go out of this Sirius satellite unit. And naturally, we're going to go in to the Pioneer head unit. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and wire up the power. So we have black and yellow. Black is going to be the ground, of course. The yellow, now I was thinking about this. Um, 
I was thinking I should hook up the yellow to the red, which would be the ignition on, but it says to hook it up to the battery and the uh, instructions. Let's see. There we go. It says to wire up the yellow right to the battery. It's got the fuse. And I was wondering why. I felt that was weird. I didn't want to have any um, uh, parasitic draw for this thing, but then I went ahead and I, I checked the fuse, and <laughs> this fuse will blow at one amp. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> it's one amp. This is not drawing anything, barely, barely anything. So it's all good. I'm going to wire this up as instructed. So I'll go ahead and strip this. Amazing. This has been completely untouched for so long. Got to wire up this with the yellow of the Pioneer head unit. Give it a couple twisties. This is just for testing purposes, guys. <laughs> we will take this all apart and resolder it once we know everything works. I'm not tearing apart my ZJ again <laughs> for something that won't work. So let's go ahead and pull this back. And, you know, if it was new, that would be a different story. But, again, this thing is old. What is it? End of 2019. And this thing was manufactured in 2006. So we're talking a decade and a half right here so we got black yellow um that's it this is fused i know guys this looks like a little mess but it's it's really not that bad just color matching right now that's what we're doing and the antenna here we go we need the antenna to receive the signal all right so here we go we got the antenna cord we're going to plug it right into the spot marked antenna easy as pie three connections all done i did unravel this long cord and i stuck the receiver onto the hood of general grievous in the rain unfortunately we got ourselves an evening thunderstorm it's all good though because we'll be doing some wiring and testing in here for a little bit hopefully it'll clear up and uh yeah let's uh let's go ahead and turn everything on and we'll see if we could get this working all right, here we go. Let's see if we can get any results from the Sirius XM. Gonna go ahead and connect my switch on power to my battery power, connecting the red to the yellows, and that's gonna go ahead get powered from my power supply. And this is it. All we got is the ground. That's the other thing. And uh, uh, here we go. Here's my test speaker. And I'll put that over here, slightly out of frame. And I'll just go ahead and connect the speaker wires real quick. So speaker, wire, and speaker wire. All right, here we go. Power on. Let's go ahead and prop this up. All right, demo start. Let's see. Let's go to source. Hey, serious. Check that out. Do we have any signal? Updating. Antenna. Right. Good. Philip with Montauk Data Gas <laughs> with the lowest prices on Long Island every day. Montauk Data Gas on the Pluto Woo. Preservation and Mastic. Montauk Data Gas now has both of the That's scary. <laughs> right. Well, we know the radio works great. Let's see if we can get some serious radio. Let's see if it's done updating. I think we go to channel 1 or 0 for the uh, information. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's make a phone call. Thanks for calling Sirius XM. Your call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Please tell me the phone number on your account, including the area code. If you're a new customer and... In a few words, please tell me why you are calling. For example, you can say, I bought a new car. Question about a charge. I bought a new car. <laughs> I transfer you to an agent. Hello, good afternoon. This is White on Sirius XM, one of the largest music and entertainment provider. How may I help you today? 
Hi, uh, my name is Dan, and I just bought a brand new 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm <laughs> wondering if you could help me activate my Sirius XM with it. All right, sure, sir. Could you please provide to me the radio ID for this Jeep? Yes. Hold on one second. Right? Yep, brand new 1998. So let's go ahead and activate your service. All right. Um, are you with your new vehicle right now? I am with my new vehicle right now. Wonderful. Can you please turn on your satellite radio? It is on. Perfect. So I would like to send a signal off to your radio for your channel to be activated. So before I can send the signal, please make sure that you have a clear view of the sky. That means you should not be in your garage or blocked by any large trees or buildings. Nope, I am not in the garage and I have a clear view of the sky. Perfect. And next is make sure please that there are no Bluetooth devices currently on as of right now. Nope, no Bluetooth devices. Perfect. So let me just send a signal now to your radio. Can you please put it on channel 184, which that will be preview. 184, a serious preview. Perfect. And I have now successfully sent the signal to anti radio. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, everything works, man. That's wonderful to hear. Please do try to check to see if everything's in good shape. That's fantastic. Oh, you are most welcome. I'm glad to hear that we already covered everything here. Dad, that we need to do to make sure that you will be receiving your favorite channel. Everything is being good cheap here now. Um, is there anything else, or do you have any questions that I can help you out here with your account? That's it. You've been awesome. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're most welcome. Everything is in good cheap here now, then. So once again, you have a wonderful day now, okay? Enjoy your service. Thank you so much, John. You too. God bless, buddy. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Dad, enjoy your day, okay? You too. Later. All right, later. All right, so here we go. We got our Pioneer head unit all hooked up with our Sirius XM tuner. Everything works. It's bench tested. This is awesome. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just look through the instructions on how to wire up the steering wheel controls to the ZJ. And, uh, yeah, then we'll clean up all this mess. We'll make it a nice, neat wiring bundle with some solder, and uh, then we'll put it in the vehicle. All right, so this looks like it goes into the three and a half millimeter jack right here. And uh, this looks like it's the wiring harness, obviously, that plugs in here. And I'm guessing this will get its signal from the steering wheel control somehow, and also the power in the ground. Um, not sure what every wire means, but let's go ahead and we'll read these instructions and we'll see how to program this as well. Let's see, general overview. Yeah, it looks easy enough. Signal wire and input. <laughs> easy peasy, right? All right, step one. We're going to go select the radio with this little dial. So I got my little screwdriver here, and I'm going to go to position seven for Pioneer. So I'll just rotate this down. Cool. All right, so after going down the rabbit hole of ZJ steering wheel controls and searching the online Jeep forums, um, the only wire we are going to use is going to be the green one. This green one is going to connect to our steering wheel controls, and uh, of course we're going to be using this fuse and, uh, and the ground wire, and that's it. The rest we are going to shorten up. So uh, we'll go ahead and clean this all up. And for the Pioneer, we have to use this 3.5 millimeter audio jack as the input. The uh, blue and yellow wire is for, uh, I believe, Kenwoods only. All right, so let's organize all this mess now. <laughs> well, okay. I wanted to go make some sense out of all these wires, wire everything together in a nice, neat harness. <laughs> I forgot I don't have a wiring harness. So let me go check my supply bin and see what I can dig up. Jeep parts. All right, we are gonna need um, one of these, like a, it's a bezel um, installation kit. Um, here's an amp. Maybe, uh, maybe another day. Um, 
or something like this. One of these two will probably fit the ZJ. Uh, you, you need something to fill that gap that you create when you remove that big fat stock stereo um, and you put in a skinny radio like this. You're gonna have to, you know, close the gap. So you need an installation kit and uh, a wire harness, um, which was the one. Man, this was a good one, but it broke. Thought I had another one here somewhere. Yes, I think this is another Jeep harness. Perfect. This should be it. All right. So this is my stuff. Perfect. Don't have to go buy new stuff. Excellent. All right, all right, all right. I got my harness. Uh, this is great. We can start cleaning all this up, making our nice, neat wire connection. So we'll remove this unit. We'll set that aside. We'll remove this head unit. We'll set this aside. And we'll set this aside. And now let's start making a wire harness. Cool, let's do it. All right, so here we go. When I map out my wire harness, I try to go from left to right, just like the flow of reading a book. So we're gonna start uh, on the left and we're gonna uh, envision that this wire harness uh, is plugged into the Jeep wire harness. And it's gonna come out here. And then these wires are going to flow into all of our accessories. We got the Pioneer, we have the Sirius, and we have the steering wheel controls. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is simplify a lot of crap over here. And I'm going to get rid of all the wires that I don't need from the steering wheel controls. So I need the black for the ground. I need the red for the accessory power. And it tells me to use the green to hook up to the steering wheel controls for the Jeep. So that's it. I just need these three wires, and the rest of these are going away. All right, I'm not gonna touch these looped wires. These are gonna stay as is. And I'm just gonna take these existing wires, or other wires, and see if I could push them through some shrink tube. There we go. Here's all the excess, nice and out of the way. I'll go ahead and heat this up. Shrinking tube. Right. Just for general principle, I'm just gonna cut a mile off of the XM radio cord. And uh, we'll just set this aside. That's just in the way. And here we go. That's neat. This is neater and the Pioneer radio harness. All right, this yellow power wire, <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend that I know exactly what's going on in here. I just know that it's important. I cut this off of one of my units years ago and it didn't work, so I had to go solder everything back together. So I'm gonna take the fuse, I'm gonna take this long wire, and I'm just going to tape this up just to make this a little more concise right here. All right, all my colorful speaker wires, I like to save this for last. So I usually go ahead and bend this back out of the way. And uh, I like to start with the power wires. So I'm going to take a good portion of these yellow wires and line them up together. Let's see, where do I want this to go? And right about here, that's not going to yellow. So good, let's go ahead and make this the same length. Now we're gonna take the yellow wire coming out of the new harness that we're gonna use for the Jeep, and there we go. We'll get the yellow in there. Okay, now let's mate our Pioneer wire harness with the Sirius XM wire harness. We'll go ahead and twist the two battery power wires together, and I'm gonna go ahead and slip on a nice thick piece of shrink wrap tubing and I'm gonna go ahead and strip me off a nice long piece of this power wire on the radio harness all right Next, I'll take care of the accessory wire. Get our power wires together. This is the 
switched on accessory once again. And we'll go ahead and grab it from the wire harness of the Jeep. Give ourselves some more slack. And it'll come in here. Oh, can't forget the shrink wrap tube. Nice. That's what I want to see. Great. Now, steering wheel controls have two ground going into one. Interesting. Um, all my grounds are going to get connected together. And I'm going to slide on some shrink wrap tubing and get some solder on these. We'll make sure they're all connected as one. Nice. All right, well, that's really it, guys. I mean, this is not complicated stuff. Uh, I'm not going to use the remote. Uh, this is for a signal to an amp. Um, I'm not going to do that. Maybe another day. Um, mute. I don't think I have mute function, so I'm not going to use that. I got uh, the eight wires to my four speakers, all the positives and negatives, so this will be going uh, to this. Got to make those connections. Um, this is the green signal wire that goes to the steering wheel controls. I'll finish this when I get into the Jeep. And um, that's it. Uh, the only thing else is the illumination. And uh, that is this orange. So I'm going to go ahead and play some awesome music. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's fast forward through this and I'll get all these wires soldered up. Alright guys, here's my wire harness coming out of the Jeep into here, and this goes to the steering wheel controls, this goes to the Pioneer head unit, and this goes to the Sirius XM. This is my ground plug, and this is a remote for a amplifier later in the day. This long green wire goes to the steering wheel controls, and we're just going to go ahead and plug all this in. And we'll see if we could somehow stack this inside the ZJ. See if we can get it in there somehow or lay down somewhere in the uh, dash. And this is tiny. This could probably get tucked back in there too. So that gets tucked back in here. 
So this goes into here. Like that. And this go into our auxiliary input. This blue wire is for Kenwood, so I'm gonna snip that. We won't need that. And we hook this up just like I showed you before. Um alright. The only thing left to do is get this bad boy in the vehicle. Alright. Well alright guys. All the prep work is done for this head unit. It is ready to be installed, but I'm not gonna install it now. Uh, it started raining, it got dark, and I'm not doing that right now. So uh, I'll tear apart the ZJ tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be nicer. We'll get the head unit in. Um, all the prep work is done, and this was important to do here on the bench, so I'm glad I took the time to do it right. Uh, we bench tested everything with my power supply. Um, everything works, Pioneer works. Uh, we hooked up the Sirius satellite uh, got that activated and made ourselves a nice wire harness so it's a good place to end it i'll make a whole nother video tomorrow about the actual install and uh, we'll call this one the prep video so that's it man i'm so happy with the way this came out i'm really happy that it works um this thing is such a great head unit you guys will see that and uh yeah that's it guys uh if you want i'll leave a link in the description to the power supply this thing makes life a lot easier testing these old things i use old products all the time and um you want to make sure it works before you install it and it doesn't work you don't have to rip it all out again so yeah definitely it's a good idea to bench test your stuff so i'll put a link I'll put a link to everything in the description um all the relevant stuff all the new stuff that you could buy like the uh steering wheel controls you just have to find your own head unit and your compatible uh tuner to go with it if you want to do the xm um so, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, remember to get your stickers. There's still some available. And that's it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project when we install this and the ZJ. Good night.